Hi, my name is Dr. Raja Adnan Ahmed and I'm a psychiatrist working in UK. And I'm making this video as part of my interview series where I'm discussing the commonly asked questions which you may encounter in an NHS job interview. This is particularly for the help of the IMG doctors who may struggle, who may not have seen those questions before. So let's start. Remember, I'm not trying to give you any model answers. Uh, you have to come up with your own answer, but I'm just giving you some idea behind these questions and you know how you may approach them. So one common question you might encounter is about evidence-based medicine. Now this question can be asked in several different ways. They may ask you what is your understanding of evidence-based medicine. They may ask you to give them some examples of evidence-based medicine. How do you practice this? They might, may ask you the importance of evidence-based medicine. Uh, so, you know, you may, you, you may come, across, come across this in a different way. So first thing to understand is what is evidence-based medicine? In very simple words, evidence-based medicine is about using the best available research evidence uh, in your current practice and uh, uh, practicing according to what is uh, currently available, what is the most safe practice. A definition of uh, evidence-based medicine you can find on the internet. But after definition, uh, it comes to question of, you know, what is the best available evidence and how do you identify the best available evidence? And for that, I think you need to do some reading around uh, the different hierarchy of research uh, which is available. So it starts from expert opinion, then you can go up to uh, the case studies, the case series, then you go up to the randomized control trial, the cohort trials, and it goes all the way up to a systematic review and meta-analysis. So the best evidence, or you can say that the uh, evidence which has the best weight in a research arena is uh, which comes from a meta-analysis. So to answer how do you practice evidence-based medicine, how do you make sure that you're using the best available evidence? I think there are several ways of doing that. You can tell them that you have been attending conferences, courses where recent evidence and recent guidelines have, have been taught. You have been uh, reading uh, articles, you have been keeping an eye on the most written guidelines that are coming out of uh, a different institute like for example the nice guidelines are used very commonly in the uk and i always advise the junior doctors that when you're going for an interview make sure you have recently read um, a good article a systematic review something that has, has been leading to change in practice change in recent practice something that has added to the already known knowledge because if this question is asked from you and they ask you for an ex example of what have you read recently you know you can actually give them that example for example as an example i can give you that you know in psychiatry we follow the nice guidelines that there are mental health nice psychiatry guidelines and in june 2022 the recent depression guidelines came out so if you're going for an interview you know it's good to actually read those nice guidelines um, and when they ask you you know the examples of how do you incorporate in evidence-based medicine in your practice you can say that you know this because these recent nice guidelines came out which were actually made from re recent and best available evidence and i've been uh, using them i've been reading them and these are the certain aspects i've i've understood from them this is a certain aspect i've been practicing this is a certain aspect you know i would like to practice in the future when i give in the opportunity so simply and to summarize this particular question Try and get a best, very basic definition of what is evidence-based medicine, how to collect the best evidence, how to identify what is the best available evidence out there, like attending courses, doing research, uh, reading research, uh, researches, uh, attending conferences, things like that. And how do you apply that particular knowledge in your current practice? And then just give some example of something that has come out recently that you, that has inspired you to change your practice. So thank you very much for listening to me. And in the next video, I'll meet you with a different kind of question. Thank you.